I have a belief and saying and mantra that says that a perfectly repaired device will last as long as anyone would. Now, this phone had a screen replacement. However, the person who did it didn't do it in a manner that it can be guaranteed. This is barely a month since it was replaced. Now, it has been brought to me for rectification and that means I'm going to take you through the entire process of screen removal and screen placement because I have to do the entire screen placement process and be keen to watch the stages that I go through and along the way I'll give you tips to ensure that this phone once the screen is replaced may it last even over five years without having any issue other than if you drop the screen and broke it all right now that that intro is done with let's go right in first we need to open this and to open this we simply begin with removing the sim cards alongside the sim card tray and uh this gets out i should shut it down uh, but uh, all right let me do just that so hit the power button and say power off i hit this all right now that that is out now this being an infinix over the years i have noticed that uh, getting in between here uh, with your fingernails uh, the reason for which i keep mine is enough to be able to pry it apart but uh we will always press the fingerprint sensor down so it doesn't come off with the back so i've pushed in my fingernail right there and i'm going to slide it towards the bottom and that should release the back from the frame like that all the way and you can see that lifting now at this point i want to use my thumb to press that fingerprint sensor down because we do not want it coming up with the back cover and that normally would cause us to risk staring the fiber and now having done that um, to fix this one we will have to remove uh, the screws expose the side and expose that side and this is basically the process of opening so anyway let's uh, remove the faster screw one then we have two then we have three uh, pardon me actually it turns out uh, this screen was never replaced because I can see the warranty screw up in the first part for it and uh, I can see that this part none of this has been opened up the screw that was under there uh, it's me who has exposed it um, this thing needs to be opened and I do not know whether there are any things or screws underneath this tape um, let me get there all right so I need to expose that I think this is no longer necessary or relevant uh, okay we get that screw then this screw now that have found screws under that uh, so the next thing is to make sure I also expose this because now I have to suspect screws under here. So at times it's nice to use intuition that will help guide you. So uh, open this screw. Uh, that screw gets out. I think I'm being, going to be forced to do this in two videos to keep them of manageable length so the opening process will be uh, one video and then the closing process an entirely different video so let me get right under there and expose that screw okay that's the screw all right that screw is up i think we might have something here i think i'm choosing to just buffer it that will also help me keep some of my screws from wandering off so whatever I suspect a uh, screw I shall perforate and uh, okay now this is a screw with the warranty sticker so perforate that um, but I believe this for and for the years it has been in service is already beyond uh, the warranty period of coverage okay all right so now i think we might have something here because i made resistance now only 
need to lift this out. Okay, where are we? Okay, it looks like after all I needed this out because of the tap and then this definitely comes off and now that that is off our next thing is for me to uh, lift this up and uh, I think we might have a screw under this fingerprint sensor I'm sorry about that but I know the adhesive under to get that out but I need to disconnect that so I have to pick out the fingerprint sensor itself Okay, let's proceed. Uh, one of the other screwdrivers isn't helping me much with this screw. Uh, so this will come off like that. And I think the sensor is off. Now I think I can lift this plastic without any problem in the world. And uh, I think there's a screw underneath here. Alright. Now. Let be done with that. All right. The next stage is to detach the battery, which I know is not a piece of cake. Hmm. So it looks like the thing could have accommodated an even bigger battery, but uh, it was just go modest on us. Okay. Now, these pull tabs never worked for me on these techno devices. I hope this might work for me. Tabs that never work. Okay, let's try and see. Give it a chance. Never. I think I've only succeeded once with the tech, uh, an iPhone one. So now this one is going to force me to try between, which is a very risky task, right here. Okay, but let's disconnect the battery connector. Mm -hmm. This is uh, interesting. Interesting. Now, oh, be careful, these metals tend to perforate. If you have a stiff plastic, well, I'm good. I think I'm most careful. So, I'm gonna lift it like that. And this battery gets out so now that the battery has gotten out uh, this screen now the connector releases that way and then this uh, releases that way now having done that I will have to disconnect uh, this here and uh, all right anyway there's a lot of noise in the background bear with me all right so we need to uh, lift this out of here. There's adhesive underneath and that comes out. That's to allow us release the entire screen. And uh, having said that, how uh, we have to do, um, because the screen was already lifting, so this will have to come. And then we are going to, as carefully as possible, uh, pick this out because we need the screen still functioning since it's a functioning screen. Now, Watch the next video for the process of placing a new screen back or redoing this one on. Like, share, subscribe. See you in the next video.